So what does it feel like to be in a relationship and have the manipulation thrown at you from a toxic covert narcissist? There is so much confusion that goes on, isn't there, when you have been around someone who's a covert narcissist? Because first of all, the rest of the world is looking at them like they're a nice person. Most people see them as a friend, a coworker, just, you know, a basic kind, nice person that does good things for people, funny, friendly, you know, the whole thing. Most people see them that way unless they've been in a relationship with them. Covert narcissistic people have got to be the most terrified or something of actual intimacy in a relationship. But there's another side to it. There's your side to it. So let me know in the comments if what we talk about here feels true for you and let me know what else you've experienced, okay? My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and heal from toxic relationships with narcissistic people. So you may feel all kinds of things. There is like a mounting frustration when you are around a covert narcissist because a lot of the times they are that easygoing, friendly, helpful, so on and so forth self that we see out in public. A lot of times even at home it'll go for weeks at a time where they're completely fine. The thing is, when you have any debate, when you have any argument, when you have any conflict, when there's anything you need to say that's serious, or when you want affection, or when you want attention, anything that requires of them to be genuine and real when they are uncomfortable and do not want to be, will turn into a narcissistic fit. It'll turn into extreme gaslighting. It'll turn into projecting. It'll turn into them playing the victim. And when those things happen, you are left with no one to talk to, nowhere to turn, and no one that believes you. It can mess with your head so much that you even question if you're the toxic one in the relationship, that you can't see what's happening while it's happening. Or even if you do, even if you're like, oh my gosh, this person gaslights me all the time. I feel frustrated. I feel angry. I feel hurt. I am not being heard, I'm not being listened to, you know, the whole thing. You start feeling it like all over your body, right? The pressure in your chest, the booming sensation in your head that comes with this kind of manipulation being done to you. Even when that's happening, sometimes during the gaslighting, it is almost impossible to disengage and go gray rock with that narcissist because they are playing it right on the line. They are still engaging in the topic at hand. They're not doing the shutdown and stonewalling and all of that that a more overt person will do. In fact, sometimes they're not even yelling at you. They're speaking very logically. But what they will do is they will take you in different directions a lot of times using a lot of word salad, meaning that they will talk about a lot of things all at once or talk about nonsense or, or go off in another direction and talk about that instead in detail, you know, until you've forgotten what you were talking about. They are masterful at diversion and deflection from the topic that they don't want to talk about and gaslighting you to believe you're the one who is pushing them, who is argumentative, who blows things out of proportion. All right. And you start to believe it. You start to think, well, I am a little crazy or well, yeah, I do get mad and I do get angry and I do react to things way too much. All right, you guys, this isn't you. This is what the manipulation causes. This, these feelings of complete confusion, of complete frustration, of even knowing exactly what's happening, but not being able to step out and step away from it. That is what it causes. It is so painful to so many people because then what? So you talk to a therapist or you talk to a friend and you try to explain what happened. And it sounds like normal relationship issues because you can't quite explain the nuances. It takes a long time to be able to talk about what this toxic narcissist is doing and to say it in a way where the whole picture can be seen by the person you're telling it to and have the validation come back your way that yes, this is indeed a toxic argument. All right, so I can't tell you how many people have said to me 
that I am literally the only person that has understood what they went through when I'm in coaching with them, right? Like the only person who has seen and been able to describe back the types of things a covert narcissist does. And that actually makes me kind of sad because it means that, that it's very difficult to find help for this that feels validating. Okay, so I'm hoping that these videos help people to not feel so alone in this and to know that yes, those frustrations you're feeling, those are real. Those aren't because you're too emotional or you're too sensitive. That's what happens when someone's mind is messed with as deeply as it gets messed with from a covert narcissist. If you do need help with this, check out the information in the main description of every video. There's information on peer support, on coaching, and on group coaching there. Let me ask you something here. If you're dealing with a covert narcissist and you've been watching all these videos and you've been just nodding your head and saying, oh my gosh, yes, that's what it is. That's how, that's who that person I'm with is like. That's what the covert narcissist is like in my life or I totally understand what this person is saying and she gets me, okay, be meaning me. <laughs> I totally understand what Lisa's saying there and it sounds like she gets me. If that is feeling true for you, let me know either in the comments or if you need to stay anonymous, send me an email. What I can help you with here on YouTube to keep talking about covert narcissism that is maybe more personal for you or maybe really specific things or maybe things that are not really talked about that often so that we can get the information out there together and help people, including yourself. I will see you guys on the next video.